this review, we'll dive into the most important features of Big Marker webinar software. More specifically, we'll look at the different types of webinars, the webinar funnel pages and the page editor, the webinar email scheduling, the live webinar presentation and interaction tools, the webinar follow-up and the replay recordings, the webinar analytics and session reports, and finally, what's the price on this thing and when should you or shouldn't you buy it? Stick around and let's dive right in! BigMarker is the most diverse webinar platform in terms of different types of webinars that you can host. So let's go through the most important ones here. So the most common webinar type is the live webinar where you as the host and all the attendees are gathering at a specific time when the webinar event is happening. Perhaps a unique feature for Big Marker is that you can create a webinar agenda, which creates a really clear expectation for the attendees as well. The second type of webinars is the webinar series, where the webinar attendees would be registering for a sequence of webinars. This is great for coaching, for example. The automated webinar also happens at a specific time, but it doesn't require for you as the host to be there while the webinar is happening. Instead, you can set the webinar up using the automated webinar workflow builder. You can add auto events that would trigger at a specific time during your automated webinar. So this is my automated webinar sequence. There is a chat message triggered, there is a poll that's triggered, and then there's the offer that finalizes the deal. I can also do a practice run to play a test to see how it would actually look like for the automated webinar attendees. A small downside here is that I can't find a way to edit those events. For example, if I want to change the time, I can't find a way to do that, or if I want to remove those events. So that's a small downside here. The Evergreen webinar also runs on autopilot, but it doesn't have a specific date and time of happening. Instead, you can set it up just in time, meaning whenever somebody is visiting the webinar landing page, there's always a webinar just about to start, for example, in two minutes or in the next five minutes or so. There's also this 24 seven webinar room, which is an on demand video conferencing room that's always available for you. The live stream is basically a live presentation video that's streamed directly to YouTube live or Facebook live. In this review, we'll be focusing on the live webinar. And on the live webinar, you have actually two options. There's the interactive webinar, which is real-time and best for the audience interaction. There's also the webcast, which has a better video quality. However, there is a slight 10-second video delay. Also, on webcast, you cannot invite an attendee to be a temporary presenter to join with their webcam and microphone. There's truly a wide selection of landing page templates available on Big Marker. Let's see. What makes those landing pages diverse is that they have different layouts which set different elements to focus. You can set the focus on the countdown timer, or the product image, or a video, or the registration form. On the landing page editor, you can change the theme color, for example, you can add your own logo, and you can change the basic uh, texts here and presenter information. You can also add a Google or Facebook tracking pixel for retargeting for the people who visited the webinar landing page, but for example, they didn't sign up. One thing I like about Big Marker is that you can add custom questions to the webinar registration form. And I can immediately preview how would it appear for the visitor who is about to register. After registration, they would be taken to the registration confirmation page, also known as the thank you page, which you can also customize. The most important elements here are the add to calendar links, the webinar links, the social sharing so they can invite friends and the webinar cancellation uh, in case they change their mind so they can free up a seat in the webinar. There are different types of emails that you can schedule. The registration confirmation email which has the add to calendar call to action which increases the attendance rate. Also all the emails have the option to change the texts, the designs and add a banner on top of it. Secondly, you can set up the webinar reminder emails to send up, for example, an hour before the webinar starts, and this also increases the webinar attendance rate. Third, there are the webinar follow-up emails, which also include the webinar replay recording. You can also design those emails. 
like this. For the follow-up emails, you can craft a separate message to the ones who attended your webinar and the ones who didn't. And finally, there are the webinar uh, survey emails, which will be sent out after the webinar to ask for feedback so you can improve upon your next webinars. For each of those emails, you can also see the open rate and the click-through rate. The webinar email serve two main purposes. First, to maximize your webinar attendance rate, to get as many people on the webinar as possible. And second, the webinar follow-up emails match the sales to help people reach the buying decision. As you're configuring your webinar, you can pre-upload the webinar slides, uh, the webinar uh, videos that you want to launch during the webinar. You can also preload the handouts that you want to share, the files that you want to share with your audience, uh, the polls that you want to launch during your webinar, and also the offers, uh, which ultimately are the offerings, the sales offerings. So now that we're ready, let's jump into the live webinar room. Just before you hop into the live webinar room, you can uh, check your set your microphone and um, webcam device. Also, an interesting feature here is that you can set the quality of your webcam video. You can go all the way up to 1080p. But if I do, you, you see that the, the FPS kind of suffers. It goes a little bit laggy. And this uh, would, uh, would be on the attendee side as well. So I'm going to go with the recommended option. Another interesting feature here is that you can change the video filter on your webcam. So I can go uh, with a different kind of uh, video filter. I can also change the video background uh, if I don't like the, the background that I have uh, currently. So let's continue to the webinar. There are two main things that I like about the presentation tools on Big Marker. First, I can always preview the next slide so I can have a smooth transition throughout my presentation. And the second thing is, if I want to emphasize something on my slides, I can just switch to camera and go to full screen camera mode, emphasize the point. And uh, when I'm ready, I can go back to the slides and it would take me back to the specific slide where I left off from. To emphasize something on the slides, I can switch on the drawing uh, option and just uh, choose, uh, for example, an arrow and a draw on the slides like this. And I can also choose a rectangle or a circle or whatever to just emphasize some uh, key point that I want to show on the slides. So this is really handy for presenting. As you'd expect, you can also share the screen and launch the video that we pre-configured before the webinar. What I like about the, the video player is that I can seek to a specific point during the video and play it from there. And so I don't have to watch the whole thing. So it's really important. So after I'm done watching the specific clip in the video, I can just pause again and go back to the camera or the slides. So this is a really convenient way of uh, showing a small clip from a large YouTube video. We also have the handouts that will become available to all the attendees as I click share. In the offers tab, I can launch my pre-configured offers. Before I launch my offer, I can uh, just do some last minute edits and I can change the, the images and the texts and the prices and everything. So it's a very flexible offer. As I'm sending out the offer, it asks me if I want to go full screen or slide out. Now the full screen is just basically a pop over and the slide out will appear at the corner, at the uh, lower uh, left corner for all the attendees. I suggest go with the slide out because probably your attendees will still want to continue watching the webinar and the big pop-up would just be annoying and they would just close it right away. So I'm just gonna launch that. I can also add an urgency uh, to the offer, which means that if there's a countdown uh, for the offer, it's, it's like a limited time only. So I'm gonna launch the offer. The offer also launches for me as the host so I can see how it looked like for the attendee. Here's how the webinar room would look like for the attendee. And as you can see, the offer is at the lower left corner. If the attendee closes the offer, it would actually remain visible on top of the chat here. As the host launches the poll, it would appear for the attendee 
like this. It's like a pop-up screen, so it's impossible to miss. And this only maximizes the poll participation rate. This is a, a this particularly is a multiple choice uh, question, so I can choose uh, multiple answers and submit like this. As the attendee has answered the poll, they can go to the polls tab and see uh, all the answers if the host has made it uh, public. As an attendee, I can ask questions during the webinar. Also, I can upvote other people's questions like this. When it's time for the Q&A at the end of the webinar, as a host, I can just pick the questions that got the most upvotes so I can answer them on video. For the less popular questions, uh, me or my co-host can just provide a written answer. Near the end of my webinar, I might want to give the word over to an attendee who has actually bought my course in the past. This works great as a social proof to help convince others as well to buy my photography course. Basically, I have two options for that. The first option is that the attendee gives a written testimonial in the chat. And then me as the host, I can pin the message on top. So it will be remain visible in a prominent spot for everyone. Just like this. The second option is that I can invite an attendee as a temporary presenter to enable their video and microphone so they can share their story and their experience in a video format like this. Never ignore your webinar replay attendees. Interacting with them and answering all their doubts is just as important. Remember, they could make up a significant chunk of their webinar sales, so don't forget them. Here's how the webinar replay recording would look like for the replay attendee. By default, there's the Q&A questions box right uh, here. And if a uh, replay attendee asks a question, it will be emailed uh, automatically to the host. There's also the option to uh, show the chat. Another thing I like about the webinar replay is that you can schedule polls to appear in the replay as well. So replay attendees can actually vote on the replay as well and you will be getting all the answers. The, the replays will be triggered at a specific time mark during the replay. Another thing I like uh, about the webinar replay is that I can trigger offers as well inside the replay. So this is an actual interactive offer that was triggered inside the webinar replay. So this is great. As a host, you can edit the webinar recording player to make the colors match your brand colors. You can trim the video to cut out the back parts. You can download the webinar replay recording video or you can upload an entirely new uh, video to use as a web. The webinar analytics dashboard will give you the most important metrics like the webinar funnel conversion rates, the email campaign open rates and click-through rates, and the webinar registration acquisition sources. If you want to go even deeper with the analytics, you can download the webinar report, which gives you quite insightful data like uh, you can track when were the peak times and when were the low points of the engagement or uh, when, when did your uh, attendees pay more attention and when did the attention drop. You can track that by the minute here uh, in the report. Also, what devices did they use to join the webinar and what browsers did they use. You can also track the engagement time and the engagement actions uh, for each attendee separately. As you saw, the webinar funnel features, the live webinar, the replay features, and the analytics are just like excellent quality on Big Marker. I would be nitpicking if I would be trying to find some flaws with this software. However, this kind of excellent feature quality doesn't come at a really cheap price. The pricing is more to the expensive side on Big Marker. The cheapest starter package comes at a $99 per month, which gets you up to 100 attendees and just one presenter. Keep in mind that with the starter package, you would be getting the live webinars and automated webinars with the entire automated webinar timeline builder that we showed earlier and all those features that you saw here today. Considering that, it's not that bad of a deal actually. The next step is the Elite Package, which sets you back about 189 per month and gets you way up to 500 attendees. It also features webinar series and uh, evergreen webinars, as well as the Stripe integration. 
If you're just trying out webinars, Big Marker is not really for you. If you're only running live webinars, there are actually cheaper solutions. However, if hosting webinars is the centerpiece of your marketing strategy, you're running live webinars, automated webinars, and you're experimenting with live streams, then I suggest going with Big Marker. I recommend it if you really want a bulletproof, professional, and reliable webinar software for different types of webinars. Because its abundant customization options and interaction tools are built for a heavy webinar marketer. I've reviewed all the top webinar platforms out there and Big Marker is definitely among the top three. So in conclusion, if you are running different types of webinars, live webinars, automated webinars, and you want a scalable and reliable webinar software for that, then definitely I suggest going with Big Marker. Use the link in the video description to get a seven day free trial of Big Marker and try it out for yourself. If you click on the link in the description, it would help me out a lot and it would support the channel immensely. Thank you for watching.